I go with them and then I start with you guys um I think seven and a half thousand account mm -hmm. and, and it generate I hit the target first time then hit the second time it's become um, 30k now Hi, hello, Drumil. Nice to meet you. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. How are you? Nice to meet you, too. I'm good. I'm good as well. Thank you very much. We're here today because you hit target on your $15,000 account on the new Funded Trader Program account. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank <laughs> you so much. So, Drumil, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so um, I'm in the Sydney, Australia. Um, I start my trading what a couple of years ago, I think mm -hmm. two, three years ago. Yeah, just learn a little bit a year while then I start the other trading firm, mm -hmm. learn there a little bit. Then I heard about um Audacity. And yeah, when I chat with um the one customer service support there, every questions they ask pretty nicely. Um, I go with them and then I start with you guys. Um, I think seven and a half thousand account. Mm -hmm. And it generated to the, I hit the target first time, then hit the second time, it's become um, 30K now. That's very good. And I think yeah. you did that in a pretty short period of time as well, right? Yeah, yeah. The first one was um within a week, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was pretty good week. Um, The second one was around 10 days. Yeah, That's very 10, good. 10 days. Yeah. So you enjoyed also the higher profit share, right? The 60%. Yeah, yeah, that's 60%, which is nice. It's nice. That's yeah. good. That's very, very good. Uh, but this was not the first account you, you had with us. You did have an account with us in the past as well? Oh, no, that's the first one. Ah, this is the first one. Oh, this is the good. first account, yeah. So as a first account, I think you are doing pretty well. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so just in the process now... Um should get it done this 30k as well um within week so okay but uh, i mean not in within one week it's gonna take at least 20 25 days i'm just okay. taking my time a little bit yeah 100 percent. just do that also yeah. because that is not going to mean anything for you you're still getting your share of profit so everything your account will still be doubled so there is no need for you to to rush just take exactly. your time and tell us yeah. a little bit about your um your style of trading. Are you an intraday trader, a swing trade? Because you said you are in Australia. So it's interesting yeah. also for us to explore a little bit uh, how you deal with the Forex market being on the other side of the world. Yeah. So basically, I generally trade a US session. Mm -hmm. So I stay awake in the midnight and then start the US session there. Couple of hours in the US session, I set up my trades set up the profit, take profit and the stop loss, and then I sleep. That's good. Okay. And yeah. <laughs> so because US session allows us a um, lot of liquidity sure. rather than any other session. So that's why I like to trade US session. Mm -hmm. I tried Asian session, tried UK session as well. The UK is not bad. Mm -hmm. If if I cannot stay awake longer on the US, I would rather prefer UK over the Asian session. I see. I see. I see. I understand. Yeah. Yes, those are the most liquid uh, sessions, European and the the American session to be, yeah, to be fair. Yeah. So basically, it's like um, I always work on the liquidity concept. Mm -hmm. Wherever the liquidity grab is, I just check market throughout the day. I have a couple of my uh, forex pairs, um, indices and uh, commodities. That's what I trade for. I don't check every market, but a couple of them I check throughout the day how it's going. Which mm. way market move, why it moves, and so you create a short list. Yeah, yeah. I always create my short list. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So that way, when I comes to the US session, I exactly know what to look for, mm. and just forget the rest. Just concentrate on what I have in the hand. And Which then are the pair that. that you mainly trade based on your short list on average? So. Yeah, on a look, gold is my favorite. I pretty trade yeah, gold against US. Um, Dow Jones, US 30, mm -hmm. that's another one. 
and a couple of Forex pairs, which is Euro USD, GBP USD, UJ, mm. I trade as well. Yeah, that's three mainly. Sometimes I trade um, USD, AUD as well. Trade I see. USD. Mm -hmm. It only depends on the news. So when mainly news, major pairs for Forex. Mainly major pairs, yeah. That's what I um, look for. And in that pairs as well, if they have a news coming, say, for example, mm -hmm. um, US dollar have a news today, I think um, half an hour ago-ish. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so I stop that time. Don't do anything. Let the news pass, see the results, how it's going. And after 10, 15 minutes or half an hour, I wait until all the noise settle down. That's very and good. Then talk again. Yeah. And then That's actually again. very good. We always, you know, say to traders, like just avoid trading during the news because one way or another, there is going to be like noise in the market and you don't want to get stuck in, uh, in exactly. that. It's, there's no point. There's no point. Just let the dust settle a little bit. Let the market pick a direction and then you can join the run. Uh, so you say that uh, you mainly trade during the US uh, session, UK and US session. Uh, yeah. You place your take profit, your stop loss. So basically you, you place your trades uh, and then you clearly go um, go to sleep. Luckily, that's, <laughs> that's actually very good practice. But would you yeah. say that... Um, how should we identify you? Intraday, swing, on average, how long you keep your trades open based on your take profit and your stop loss, yeah. even if you are not there? So so intraday, mostly it's it's hardly, hardly I just carry the trade overnight mm, okay. and push to the next day. Yeah, most probably 99% intraday is my style. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It depends on um, how I'm going. So generally... 15 minutes is my time frame. I see. Okay. Where I yeah, trade. I need to wait until real trade setup happens. Mm -hmm. Sometimes happens straight away. Sometimes takes the time. So within one, two hours, if I get it everything well and good, I place my trades. I know where to put the stop loss, where to put take profit, slip through. If I didn't get it in within two hours, I just skip the day. I say, okay, today mm. is not my day. Um, yeah, forget about it and close my laptop, sleep. That's very good, actually. You are very yeah. strict with yourself. This is this is a really good thing, actually. But we don't find many traders that, uh, you know, remain uh, this uh, strict and uh, respect those rules of uh, adapt to their trading plan that uh, that well. That's very good. Yeah, um, I I had a couple of hits in the past. Mm. So yeah, it, so it's you always learned. become like that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm becoming strict to myself. No, this is the rules and has to follow it. Stick to the rules. That's it. That's very it, good. It works for me since like last one and a half year, two years. So mm -hmm. yeah, I continue with that one. That's good. That's very good. And we can see that you are very consistent in your uh, in your profitability. So definitely is uh is working pretty well for you uh tell yeah. us a little bit more about the strategy itself do you rely on some indicators uh, is it more based on price action market structure uh, how do you decide when to trade and how to do that yes yeah, so mostly price action i use um some of the indicators i use macd mm -hmm. i use rsi yeah um i just used to get um Confluence. knowledge where the market trending and um, I use the order flow as well, which mm -hmm. helps me a lot. Yeah, so um, just to check it out where the higher order been placed, where um, big players are running, to be honest. Yeah, mm -hmm. so okay. yeah, I just check and always keep in mind that trend is my friend. That's good. Yeah, very, very, very simple strategy. I always use trend is my friend on a higher time frame. Mm -hmm. I check my higher time frame, check out the trend, then go to my lower time frame, wait for any break of structure or mm. any liquidity that's happen, and then place my trade from there. That's good. Sometimes simplicity, actually most of the time, simplicity yeah. is uh, is the best thing, is the best strategy. That's good. Uh, yeah. So you are trading uh, mm, as a part-time thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you are full time and you are trading. Uh, you are trading, trading part time, part -time as well. At the moment, 
for the past couple of years from my understanding yeah so you so you started the relatively recently in uh, in a way in the industry and your results already speak very loud for you you're doing very very well and now that i'm having an interview and i'm listening to to you and your strategy and how strict you are um with your own rules uh, i can definitely understand why uh tell us a little bit more about your money management and uh, risk management how do you control the risk side uh, of your account so when i trade it depends on the what's the what the trade setup i'm getting mm -hmm. I put the trade size that way. But say, for example, when I have a 15K account, mm -hmm. I do not trade more than 0.15 or maximum 0.20 lot. Mm, I see. No more than that. That's yeah. good. Yeah. So that way, at least um, they keeps the risk management very tight. Mm -hmm. It gives you opportunity. And if I see the trade going well, I always add on the position. Mm, I, see. So, I see. Yeah. Which is helps us. But no more than maximum two or three position add up, and that's it. Only if and you are in profit already. You yeah, see. even if I'm, I'm in profit. If I'm in loss, then I just leave the one position as it is mm -hmm. and let it go. If it is hit the stop loss, then it is what it is. Yeah, but if it is going through the profit, I see that the trend picking up the way I put my um, trade, add on another trade, maximum mm. two or three, and that's it. Set up the take profit, slip through. That's good. That's very good. Yeah. That's very good. Okay, so I want to emphasize one more time that uh, mm -hmm. it's relatively um, recent your success and your profitability in the market. Yeah. Um, Around three years, I start trading. Mm -hmm. I would say one year I just learn everything. Mm -hmm. Since the past two years, I've been start making profits and profits. So what I want to get through the stage where I have a higher account, mm -hmm. and then just quit work just focus on trading full time sure i understand yeah. definitely but it's, do, it's good that you are taking your uh, your time to get to that stage uh, we always say that trading as a job uh, is uh, is a marathon it's not uh, a sprint so you will need to take things slowly step by step and getting there in uh, in time um mm. are you also managing uh, apart from the account that you're managing with us are you also funded with uh, with a different uh, a uh, funding provider or you're managing your personal funds as well um yeah so i used to at the moment no i'm just with you guys mm -hmm. um i used to manage my personal fund and i have a lot of other followers who are following me as a copy mm -hmm. trading okay yeah but and then i have a other prof firm as well mm -hmm. but didn't go well with them it's not that the i hit their stop loss target or something but I got some issues, so we stop with them and then mm. um, start every single time. Start with you guys. I'm very happy. A payout, <laughs> no trouble. Yeah, everything happy. Like all queries solved within hours. I said, not mm -hmm. days. That's very good to hear. That's very good to hear. We, yeah. you know, we uh, fr from the management team to the support team, the risk team. Uh, take that very very seriously we always mm. try to to be there for our traders if there is an issue uh, we are traders as well so we do understand that things need to be sorted in the shortest period of time as possible when it comes for the payout when it comes for uh, an issue for example uh, any any mm. queries uh, should be dealt in um in a timely manner at the end of the day so we try to to do that with uh, with all our team members uh, so the fact that you notice that is, is actually making me very 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 happy so i will definitely pass that on to the different teams uh, saying this message of appreciation let's let's put it like that absolutely yeah 100 percent. that's good yeah. uh, a piece of uh, advice or a recommendation a suggestion uh, you're you know, I don't want to repeat that again, but uh, mm -hmm. you are getting very much success on the on our accounts and uh, in your uh, in your trading uh, career in uh, in general. What would you say mm -hmm. to someone that um, is now at your stage, but maybe is not getting the same results? Uh, uh, is now starting in the industry. What would you recommend? What helped you? Yeah, look, um, read the market. I would say that don't be in a rush read the market 
see the price movement, how it's going and why it's going higher or lower. Keep that in mind that just, just read it, study it, which way it's going and take your time. Mm -hmm. If one day loss or one day you didn't trade, a week you didn't trade, that's okay. That is always next opportunity comes in the market. It's not going to go anywhere. It will be there. Just sure. take your time, relax, study the market. If you're not 100% satisfied, if if you have your list, this all criteria has to match, mm -hmm. then it has to match and then only you take trade. That's Otherwise, good. if one of them not match, just don't touch it. That's good. Very, very wise word. Really, really true. Uh, yeah. Just a curiosity from my side. You know, basically, this checklist you were uh, you were mentioning is is what we call a trading plan, and uh, mm. each single trader has his own trading plan. Now, someone, uh, it happened to me, for example, when uh, even in the trading on the trading floor, uh, I had, for example, traders that have like a specific trading plan printed uh, on their desk. Uh, I have someone else that uh, sometimes they put like this little uh, post-it on, uh, on the four screens. Uh, so they have it there. So there are like different kind of um, habits when it comes mm -hmm. to having a trading plan. We have also like someone that, uh, no, 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 I have my trading plan in uh, in my mind. Uh, so I don't need to have it printed. I don't even, I don't need to have it written down. What works for you? You have it printed down, you have it in your head, you have little post-it. Uh, where do you have your trading plan? Yeah. So I used to have that printed before. It's like um, day-wise, I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays. Okay. And then all my trading criteria. And I tick every time, one time. Okay, tick, tick, tick. All good. Yep, go ahead. And one of them not tick, wait. That's so I, I used to have that one. Mm -hmm. But yeah, slowly, slowly that trading plan goes to in the cheat sheets, mm. small one. And then now is yeah, it just um it just becoming your second nature, you know. Like um, okay, yeah, you know exactly you know exactly where to stop, where to start, and where to just turn away from the market. That's good. So I think we can agree that uh, a little piece of advice to new traders coming to the market uh, is the one mm -hmm. to have a set rules within a trading plan have it printed uh, and actually do take the pen and uh, proper check each point of your right. trading plan uh, if it is respecting everything then you go into the computer and take the trade uh, otherwise mm. just stay away from that when you go with your uh, experience into the market you can pass from the proper uh, a4 uh, um, piece of paper to the small post-it cheat sheet uh, and, and then only after you can have everything in uh, in mind I, I really think that this helps because um, newcomers new traders in the industry tend to to rush they tend to feel the the FOMO the fear of missing out so yeah if, if they don't have it printed proper there uh, they will have the tendency and uh, the thing of like, just push the button and uh, and just enter into a trade, even yeah. if it's not the right decision. So that's actually exactly. very good. It happens um, to fear of missing out. Like trading is not something, that's what I believe. So trading is not something you're going to be rich or millionaire overnight. It's yeah. a long, long way to go ahead. Sure. So just, just, just take time. Yeah. And it's better to not trade than the lose money. 100%. Hundred percent. Yeah, if you didn't make profit, that's okay. But at least you don't lose money. Exactly. So just exactly. just wait for your criteria, wait for your strategy, how it work out, and then go from there. It's true. I remember once my my mentor long time ago he told me sometimes the best trade is the one that you don't take because it's the one mm. that is uh, saving you money. Um, even if it, it doesn't bring you anything. Uh, is not letting you lose money. So sometimes the best trade is exactly the one that you just uh, don't take. That's, don't that's take, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> just walk away. Like close exactly. your computer. If you in the UK session and you stay in the Europe or UK, just close your computer and get to your day. You know? Yeah. Like, just, yeah. Do whatever you need to do else. True. One day is not going to harm anything. Oh, no. 100%. Yeah. Okay, Durmil, thank you very much. It was a pleasure for me to 
have this interview with you today. Really, really interesting. And I really think that, um, you know, your story, your experience will uh, positively impact uh, um, a lot of, of traders, uh, of new traders and also of traders that uh, perhaps they actually started even before you, but they're not at the same level of consistency in uh, in their approach to the market. So I really, really appreciate your uh, your time today and I wish you all the best for your new account. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Thank you very much. Speak soon. Bye-bye. Speak soon. Thank you. Bye.